I missed tricep pull downs when the gyms were closed so much that the first time I was able to do them, I almost shed a tear. I mean, what does that say about me and my emotional state? Nobody should be crying over tricep pull downs. Time and minute of the bald asshole here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's the weekend and I hope you've got a rollicking good time plan. What does rollicking even mean? I don't know. We don't need to look it up. This is not dictionary time with Simon, although I would do that video if I thought it was going to do well. Now, there are some exercises that I feel get a bad rap because they are known as vanity exercises. And what that basically means is you do them and it makes you look good. However, I truly believe if an exercise does you know, make you feel good and make you look good as you're doing it, then you're probably going to concentrate on form harder and you're probably going to be more excited about doing it. And so therefore, it's something you should throw yourself into because attitude in the gym is almost more important than anything else. You need good form and you want to make sure you're doing progressive overload. But look, I'd say this, if I have to do lunges, this is my face. Ugh. If I'm going to do, pff, I don't know, what do I love? Shrugs, I'm like, ah, oh, and I'm excited. And, it, you know, the world in general, I don't want to get too hippy trippy, but the world in general is all about how you approach it. So don't knock these vanity exercises. And in fact, here are five of the best that I promise you will also work for all those reasons I just said. Number five is cable bicep curls. And the reason I bring this one in is because somebody, at least one today in the comments, go, I heard you said you weren't doing cable bicep curls because they've got a massive problem with their throat. And they're like, that's just an exercise to make you feel good. And I was like, all right, well, let's say that it is. Isn't that like a big part of the reason we go to the gym <laughs> to feel good? I mean, that's why we do it. But also, seriously, uh, I've got a video of myself doing it. It's not the best form in the world. I'm sweating my ass off, as you can see. But if you do get that peak right and you get that squeeze right and you make sure you're doing negative reps and you make sure you force yourself and power through and do you know all the, all the things that you know you're meant to be doing when it comes to lifting weights, I think it's a pretty decent exercise. It may not be for everyone because, I don't know, sometimes that's just the world, right? We're individuals and you don't know how things are going to go. But I really enjoy doing it. Like, I really enjoy doing it. And since lockdown too, I've made this sort of massive promise to myself to knock off a lot of the weight that I was doing in terms of heaviness and to almost start again and ensure that I'm focused on, on form and making sure I get my repetitions in to, you know, make sure that I get my muscle hypertrophy. So... I, I'm an advocate for it. I'm coming out right now. No one's going to be able to hold me back. I see too many people ripping it. But anytime that cable machine is free, which is a rarity in gyms, as we know, I really dig it. Like, I really, really do. I think it's fun. And sometimes the word fun and the gym aren't associated with each other. It's more like, oh, gym hardcore. Oh, I hate yourself. Hate no, no, no. Enjoy yourself. If you love it that much, you wake up going, oh, it's bicep cable day, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Isn't that better than trudging down to the gym because you've got to know you're going to do flipping lunges? I hate lunges so much I would kill them. Number four, mentioned it before, is shrugs. Now, shrugs are a decent exercise, right? They're, but, you know, they, they don't really tie into what the cable bicep curl does. If you want big traps, you should be doing shrugs. You should be doing barbell shrugs. Uh, you should be doing dumbbell shrugs. I would do Smith machine shrugs if you wanted to do that. Whatever kind of shrug you can do, sat down shrugs, you should do, you should do them all. Now, the fact that it's called shrug is that sometimes people go, Miller, how do I do a shrug? It's like, well, shrug what most people do i find is they hold the weights um by their by their side and they kind of they, they bring their whole body up like they bring their arms up too are there some kind of puppet on a string I'm like no no one's controlling you just arms down and uh and uh you know shoulders trapezius up sometimes you say trapezius and they look at you like are you some kind of like circus animal like no trapezius is, is a you've got completely confused but um the only footage i have of it is this again it's not the best uh, but i wanted to get this video out this week so you can go mad in the comments simon's form sucks yes and some of these videos it does but i like to think i know what i'm doing to a certain extent and look if you don't think i do that's what the comments are for. You're going to bull bull and I just won't acknowledge you. <laughs> and then who has really won? But shrugs are excellent and you should be doing them uh, at least twice a week. It's kind of weird. Like I did them with shoulders for ages, even though everyone was like, oh, you should do it with back. You should do it with back. And I actually do agree with them. So now I brought in my shrugs to my pool day. I just think it makes more sense with what you're doing. But ultimately, just throw them in wherever they want. If you want to do it on your push day, who's going to stop you? Nobody. If anyone ever comes up to you and says, I think you're doing shrugs on the wrong day, that person is a loser and doesn't have any real problems. Number three are tricep pull downs. I'm not going to lie, this kind of ties into uh, it's a topical thing. I missed tricep pull downs when the gyms were closed so much that the first time I was able to do them, I almost shed a tear. I mean, what does that say about me and my emotional state? Nobody should be crying over tricep pull downs. 
Somebody probably looking over and going, oh, he must have, he must have lost somebody. Someone must have died. And in my head, I'm like, who's still trying to put that so much? Because I'm genuinely insane. But I just think they're so good. They're so good. And they're, um, they're, they're diverse too. Like you can be really varied with them because you can do them with a rope. You can do them with a straight bar. You can do them with a triangle bar. You can do them one-handed. Like they're just awesome. And as long as you do, as long as you don't go too heavy on them and really go for that form, when you bring your arms down, keep those elbows locked and you can kind of, you know, flare out your triceps and get that horseshoe going. Ah, oh, man, like hold it for a couple of seconds. Make sure you fight back on that negative rep. But if you really, really squeeze it as much as possible, I guarantee when you wake up the next day, your triceps will just be on fire. It is a wonderful, wonderful exercise, and it feels good to do. And yes, if there is a mirror around and you take a cheeky peek, because we're all a little bit arrogant when it comes to that kind of stuff, and you see that horseshoe growing, it feels great. And when have you ever looked at a real horseshoe and gone, oh, I'm really excited about a horseshoe? Don't do that. It makes you a freak unless you're another horse. But if you're not another horse, you're not watching my YouTube videos because this content isn't for you at all. So I massively like tricep pull downs. You know, there were a few exercises, like I say, that I just was so excited to dive back into. And I've now overdone them to the point I've kind of ruined them to a certain extent, but I do not care. Number two is pull-ups. This will come as no surprise if you watch a lot of my content. And thank you very much to those people that do. It's just, you know, it's number one is the same as you'll see, but there is just something so caveman-esque about there's a bar, use your own body weight, now hoist yourself up. Like, it's, it's just basic. And I love basic exercises because I think it makes so much sense. And I just, I, again, I love the variation, the diversity. You know, you've got the different grips you can do. Always do wide if you want to work on your lats, but you've got underarm, you've got neutral grip. You can bring them in a little bit too, should you so wish. And they're really hard. Like, they're really, really hard. And if you want to get better at them, you have to dedicate yourself to trying to get better at them. Like, the first time you try and do a pull-up if you've never been, one, you may as well be, can you pick up the earth that I've attached to your shoes? All of a sudden, you'll go weigh yourself. Like, when the hell did I become 300 kilograms? But you're not. It's because teaching yourself to pull yourself up and hold yourself there. Don't forget, a proper rep with a pull-up, as far as I'm concerned, is you grab, you pull up, you get your head above that bar, you squeeze it for a second or two, and then you lower yourself back down. Which is why, I mean, some people are amazing at them. But I've been doing pull-ups for ages. But do I ever sort of go flying over 12 to 15 reps? Not really. That's a good day. Because they will always kick your ass. Because if you are trying to gain muscle mass, therefore you're gaining more weight you know organically or naturally whatever then you're making the exercise harder each and every week but hopefully you're also getting stronger so you have a chicken and egg scenario it would also 100% develop your back out of all the body weight exercises you can do pull-ups are my number one they will I swear to you if you want that wide look and you want to be the guy walking around the gym with wide lat syndrome you have to be doing pull-ups and if you're not well you're going in the wrong direction and number one is kind of a split it's squats and deadlifts for everything I just said a minute ago because they're basic exercises. Put this weight on your back, see how much you can go to the floor and lift back up. And the deadlift, the clue is in the name. Can you lift up that dead weight? Deadlifts would be my number one, but I think squats are so uh, just good as an overall body exercise. Obviously focusing more on your legs, I had to mention them. But yeah, deadlifts are, they're just, because I mean, it's when you get to the point where you can lift a lot of weight, and there is no such thing as a lot of weight, sort of generally, it depends what a lot of weight is for you. Because if you started doing 50 kilograms, and now you can do 100 kilograms, well, that's double, and therefore it's a lot of weight. So it's not really about, oh, I can do a 300 kilogram deadlift. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know what he did used to deadlift. Or Thor, right? Thor did 501 kilograms. It's not about that. It's about the fact that when you do pick it up, you feel like a badass. It always makes you feel strong because it feels really strong to you. And it smashes your back and it smashes your legs. You can do Romanian deadlifts too. They are just awesome. And, you know, when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're all sweaty and your veins are popping out and you're all big, it's all because of the deadlift. Because, again, think how many muscles you're engaging when you pick that things up. I would marry the deadlift if I could. And I'd take its name. I would be Mr. Deadlift. I'm still waiting for him to ask, but he has not as of yet. And there you go. They are my favorite vanity exercises. I mean, look, no one's going to tell you not to do deadlifts, but some of them do get a hard rap on the internet, and I don't think it's fair. Make sure you do them all. Be diverse. Be varied. Throw things in there. You know, if there's some things you really hate, maybe take them out and put things in that you do enjoy. It's all about you having good weightlifting sessions. Don't let this negativity drag you down. Now, please do like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I've got merchandise, simonmiller.bigcartel.com. Hit that bell, ding, ding. Just go in the description. There's a load of links. If you want to support me more, you can. If you just want to watch that, that's good too. Make sure you have a good weekend. If you're watching this day one, Sunday is dumb day. That's coming tomorrow. I'll see you then.